Um, all right, after after 2019, like I said, you finished with uh, a, a black jersey debut and then they move into 2020, which was probably one of the toughest years for all of us. Yeah. Um, everyone's obviously been through some, some form of hardship throughout the last 12 months. Um, and obviously with us, you know, we had the NRL bubble. Um, talk to me about your experiences with the bubble because I know, uh, you know, you decided to share a few things on social media um, where you would, you know, journal and write your thoughts down and just be open and, and vulnerable. Um, were you going through a bit of a tough time and how did you feel that, you know, being vulnerable helped you? Yeah, uh, personally, it was probably the toughest time for me. Um, being away from my family and confined to four walls was tough. It allowed me to, and like, like I'm a, I overthink a lot, you know, I I don't as much now, but I used to, and um, I used to think the worst of scenarios, and um, it was tough for me, um, it was, I made that video that I chucked up, Yep. Um, just to, you know, it was, it was a tough time for everyone, but I didn't see too many people acknowledging that it was tough, yep. like, um, I know it's a hard topic to talk about, but I hope like, you know, making that video allowed people, I got so many, I got so much feedback saying, this isn't making it comfortable yeah. for me to talk about my hard times. And I was like, that's that's what I wanted it for. Like, it wasn't for me to say that I'm going to be vulnerable for, you mm. know, the world to see. I wanted it to make sure that people were going to be able to share mm. um, because... Did you feel that uh, when you made that video? Because I remember, like, a lot of the boys got around it and shared it as well. I'm like, yeah. bro, this is awesome. Like, I honestly didn't think it was going to be like that. How was that when you found out that you, all your teammates were sharing the it video and being like, bro, this is sick? It was real overwhelming because I didn't expect the feedback to be like that. I thought, you know, people were going to look at me and be like, oh, this guy's just doing it to do it. Like, he doesn't mean this, blah, 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 blah. Yep. But to see the boys share it and, and comment and, and and everything like that and to see it on other people's stories that I haven't even met before, yeah, it was it was, it was was really, really cool. And um, I'm just glad that it had that effect on people. Yeah. I uh, think I last year was massive for me to learn about myself. Yep. And I definitely think it carried onto the field. Definitely. 100%. I'll, um, I'll, I'll touch on the NRL bubble quickly and, you know, for myself, I'm lucky. I've obviously, you know, I've got a wife and some children to come out of you, but yourself, you know, you live in 2020, you lived by yourself. Yeah. So you said, you spoke about being confined to four walls. So we were only ever, as many people know, allowed to go to training and, and back, back home. home. So, you know, what did you do with your time at home? You know, you said you were an overthinker was, um, you know, <laughs> going home and not having human interaction yeah, that was at hard. home for like 12 hours. Yeah. From like, let's say, four o'clock till you go to bed. Yeah, it was really, really hard. I I didn't do much, honestly. Um, I read a couple, I decided I, I like reading, so I, yep. I read a couple books and um, I just really got into my journaling and writing out what was on my mind and everything like that. Yep. And um, I got in touch with the club psychologist that was available to us and yep. I made use of that every second week, I think it was. Sick. And that was, you know, someone that, grew up thinking men men don't need psychologists yeah you know you, you should you know harden up yeah yeah like that was massive a massive step for me did you find that um you know, i touched on being you know being vulnerable and you know you learn now you've like man i learned so much about myself in 2020 yeah 100 percent. i learned that it's okay to be not okay yeah you know people people always look at you and Say, oh, people won't always look at you, but they'll they'll be like, oh, you know, this guy's down. But that's fine. Yeah. Like, you know, the, the ones to acknowledge that they're down are the ones that make the biggest progress because they acknowledge that they're down. They can find out these steps to help them through it. Yep. And then they can come out the other side and, you know, everyone's going to have a down day here or there. It's about how you learn to get through it. And the recovery time for me was, you know, it might have been four days, and then three days, and then two days, and then eventually it was just one day, and then not even an hour, because I had learned tools throughout those losses yeah. or those bad days to yep. be able to just not like nip it in the bud right there, and not allow myself to feel that way for that long. But yeah, I, I learned a lot about myself. Love that. What uh, what books you read? Um, anything really. Um, I got onto one called How Emotions Are Made. Yep. And I gave it to Royce. Um, I didn't. I didn't know he could read. <laughs> Uh, I don't know he could read at all. <laughs> Has he read it? Uh, I don't know. He's actually actually come back with some feedback um, after a few chapters. Yeah, good. So I was like, wow, that's, that's cool. I rate that. Yeah, I read it too. I was like, far. 
He, he actually just asked me for it. I was like, oh, yes, yeah. I'll bring it. Yeah, sick. Um, read that one. I read uh, like a fiction book. Uh, yeah. Wait, what's the truth? What's the real one? Then? What's uh, oh, man. It's non-fiction non- is the... F- non-fiction. Is that false? It's false, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's, so I read a book about that one. Yeah. It's called The Book Thief. Yeah. And that was crazy. That was just about um, this little girl um, back in times where Hitler was yeah. man. And, um, and I've read one called Australia Day, which just touched on... Um, the indigenous point of view of Australia Day and yep, what it yep. means. I remember you telling me about that actually. Yeah, it was yep. it's actually a pretty good book. Yep. Um, and then I think that was it. Yeah, I think three, three's, three's a lot for me. Yeah, still got a process. Definitely, man. Especially like a lot of us, you know, we struggle to sit still in school and focus. Yeah, and, you know, I'm not exactly the same. I've only started reading probably a bit seriously over the last few years, but yeah. now, you know, I, I I love it. I try and put it in my daily routine. Yeah, yeah, and I, and I love hearing that my teammates are like investing time into themselves to read books. Um, I definitely, you know, promote that stuff. 